It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. Happy Africa Day. And for our part, we are celebrating all that our beautiful country and our beautiful corner of this amazing continent has to offer from our history to our very diverse cultures to our stunning arts. That's where the magic happens for me. That tells the emotional story. And we are joined today by one of the most amazing storytellers we are likely to ever meet, Loazi Dlamini, a member of Cape Town's Judith Nelson Young Artist Programme, to share with us the exciting details of his very rapidly evolving career. He's landed massive breakout roles and is making a name for himself at the Cape Town opera scene in a big way. Loazi, welcome to the show, my thank friend. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, it, it's always so special to meet someone who is at this particular moment of their career. I call it the moment of becoming. When you look back, because every day is hard work. It's a sliding scale, you're working your way up here. Definitely. I've got to ask, with an opera voice, is that different to discovering another kind of talent? Because you've got to have some guts to belt it out. When do you first know that you've got the chops to do opera? How do you discover a talent like that? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's really a, an easy one, I guess also a difficult one. Why? Because with opera, I guess for me it was different because I didn't just start uh, singing opera. I first went for choral. Ah, yeah, so yeah. I guess if uh, for me it had to do with having the choral sound first. So once I grew that choral sound, it helped me to even go more because with opera we know that opera is storytelling. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we have to tell the story, not about the voice. It's never about your voice. Exactly. So, yeah. And you, you're following in the footsteps of some of the greatest storytellers and voices throughout history, defined by generations, literally. No pressure, yeah. because you're also embodying this incredible music. When you're out there, you're not just a solo performer as yes. much as all the lights yes. on you. Yes. Exactly. How much pressure do you feel when you are out there performing in that context? Well, uh, for me, uh, I I'm wearing glasses, as you can see right now. <laughs> well, I, I never feel that pressure when I'm on stage or with the audience and whatnot. I only worry about if the audience is going to be able to, to pick up the story that I'm trying to uh, portray to them or showcase. At the end of the day, we all need to just give the story so great to the audience so that they it know agrees. what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And I love that. So it's not you, just a vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's not, not just not me all on, you. on yeah. and my voice and yeah. And you've got to let that out. So this is quite cool for us, mm. the fact that this is a first for you. Yeah. Um, coming all the way to our neck of the woods from Eswatini, you found yourself a home here in Cape yeah. Town. Beautiful. What is the scene like here? What more do we need to develop opera talent like yours? Well, uh, I wouldn't say a lot because where I come from, uh, Swaziland, we don't have opera at all. Well, now uh, so, you do, yeah. I was, <laughs> <laughs> so I was one of the lucky ones to even be employed by Cape Town Opera. Uh, but all in all, I would say that uh, we need more companies that are like Cape Town Opera. Cape Town Opera is really Platforms, doing a yeah. great, yeah, is really doing a great job with that. Uh, it, they just opened up a foundation a foundation course for a young young students who come from right. high school and all that to first have that background of music and they're also having shows like uh, opera blocks opera blocks for babies like uh, oh. three to six months here Plant that yes just to make sure that yeah. uh, the young ones are already having the knowledge of opera we don't have an audience our audience is mostly uh, old or grown-up people to say so we don't have our young people young people like us to maybe keep up with the... With well, buddy, I can tell you right now, there are a lot of young people watching, seeing you, it's seeing beautiful. themselves represented beautiful. in you <laughs> right now, and that little switch mm -hmm. that needs to be flicked, it's not going to come from a previous generation, it's going to come from a young person. Yes, yes, exactly. um, and next to me, you are still very, very young, buddy. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I have a feeling we're going to see amazing things from you in the future. I, I'm glad, I'm glad, and now... It's looking good. Uh -huh. You're going to do it. Yeah. I have a feeling he's going to deliver because he's got the BMT. And this is how you celebrate this beautiful continent with raw talent that just gets out of its own way to deliver. Yeah. We love you, guy. Well Thank you. done. Thank you. It's my feel-good show.
the time which has finally come for Luazid Lamini to perform. He's going to move you. This is an incredible song. It's written by Dominic Gamedzi, who is a Swazi composer, taking it back to his roots. Well, Luazi, the stage is yours. Take it away, brother. Woo! Navigate to the 